Look, bruh. Story time. She said, baby, I am not afraid to die. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. Now, what's good, you fine people? You know, shit work is to start today. We're not gonna react to no, no fucking soccer video, nothing, bro. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story that happened like right today. I almost fucking died, bro. What? Me, yeah, me, my body. I just almost died. I just came off of work, and I almost died. I still got my fucking work shirt on. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I just came here. I was so shocked, bro. I was so shocked. I went and took a nap. What the fuck? I have to start packing for shit. You wanna see what my room look like, looks like right now? Miss <laughs> me? Oh my yeah. god. It's not looking good. I have to start packing for shit. Cause I have to leave in like three days. I have to move out. Cause you know, semester's over in college right now. So yeah, I have to move out 24 hours after my last exam, which is on Friday. So I have to start packing. But I just came here and I napped my name. Perfect. Napped. Fucking knocked out. That ass. But let, let me let me take you guys through, you know, what happened through my day. And yeah, sit back, get some popcorn, get some juice, get some food, and I don't know, play some video games in the background, or you can just watch my fucking face telling you the story. You can just hear my voice. Let's start with this shit. And before I start with this shit, if the guy who hit me, I think your name is Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. If you're watching this video, bro, it's all good. Like, I I wasn't mean like to get you in trouble or nothing. I just you you guys won't understand what I mean. But like, people make people make mistakes, bro. People make mistakes, so. It's all good. I, I mean, I'm not that hurt, but my knee's kind of fucked up right now, but it's all good, yeah. It's all, it's all, all right. Let's start with the story. Okay. So, if you're on my Snapchat, you would have seen, like, what most of my day consisted of. So, I woke up. Y'all niggas want to hear the whole story? Really, nigga? Went to work from 7.30 to 3.30. had an eight-hour shift and shit. Was doing shit at work, you know. Working hard. Working hard. And at 325, 330-ish, finally got done. And then there was some kind of event going on at work. And then I was like, all right, yo. I asked my supervisor, can I get some food? He was like, yeah. Take as much as you want. And I said, what? <laughs> Bro, if you hear those words, take as much as you want. Some, something was not right. And right before that, too, they, they, had, they had like a job fair. And I went up to like a healthcare, uh, like a healthcare booth. And then I was like, um, sometimes I feel like I'm wasting my time on like wasting my money on healthcare because I keep paying all this fucking money and nothing happens. Perfect. I don't know if I was foreshadowing my own, you know, me getting hit by a fucking car. But I don't know. Like everything con was connected somehow in the in the story in my day. And then I saw some guy. <laughs> I saw a nigga on bath salt too. But that's for another story. I'll, I'll just post that video by itself because he was definitely on bath salt. So some kind of drug because no one acts like this. <laughs> I get my food. My food's still here. My food is legit still here. You want to see it? It's right there. I haven't eaten yet because I'm fucking still in shock. But I'm gonna take off this fucking shirt, bro. I'm gonna take off this fucking shirt. This shit makes me look fucking retarded. What the I don't fuck? know if you saw me walk, but I'm kind of limping a little bit because, like, my right leg, it doesn't hurt for some reason, but it feels odd. You know that feeling? Like, you're. It doesn't hurt, but you know it's not right. Yeah, so that's what I'm feeling right now. But, alright, back to the story. So I get my food and. I walk outside. Now, when I walk outside, I think I'm, I'm gonna have a you know smooth fucking bike ride because I, I I drive my bike. Well, I ride my bike to work from my room to work. It's like fucking a mile, so yeah, it's it's not that far. It's like ten minutes by bike. I walk outside. My nigga, it's raining. Fucking pouring. Walk back inside, my <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh. My boss is like. Hey, you want? I mean, it's raining. You want to stay even more and just work till five? I'm like, uh, fuck no money. <laughs> I, I am not staying awake. I'm not staying more than fucking eight hours. Like, I'm, my mind is off of work. I can't do this shit no more. My body sore. Like, first of all, work is a full body workout for me because I, I, I need to get my, you know, I need to drink my protein after, after work every fucking day. So, I'm like, you know what? I'll wait it out. So I sit about for like five minutes and. The sun fucking shines. So I walk out, get on my bike. My bike, like, it's fucking wet. 
get on my like get my ass on that fucking uh bike seat whatever the fuck you call it and then ride off into the sunset so we riding we riding we riding i get to main campus you know easy shit like before i get to main campus we have to cross like the bridge and then you have to go through a fucking road and then look both ways i always look both ways no car hit good get to main campus do everything right now mind you i'm riding this shit with one hand like <laughs> I'm steering the bike with my left hand, and then my food. Let me let me get you. I'm like this, bro. On my bike, just pedal, pedal, pedaling and shit. You know, looking a bit. Hey, hey, what's up, Thotty? What's up, Thotty? Hey. But I, I just give him the head nod and shit. Perfect. So I'm good, like. Up to up to main campus, I'm fucking good. Walk past the library. Walk Bruh. Drive, well, ride by. Bruh. <laughs> Bike past the library. We good. And then, as soon as I hit the corner, my nigga, it starts pouring. Fuck this shit, I'm out. So I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm not gonna stop. So I, I like, hunch my back over and shit. And I start pedaling fast as fuck. But I'm still in the parking lot right now. So, I take a turn. And then this is where I almost died. Now there's a four-way intersect, like a four-way intersection. There's stop signs on each fucking side of the road. Cars usually stop. So I'm on head, I'm like, you know, nice little stroll. It's raining. He's gonna stop. My nigga slows, <laughs> he slows down. I'm like, all right. Cool, keep pedaling, keep pedaling shit. But like he's slowing down, but I don't think he's slowing down just to slow down, like to stop. He's just slowing down just, you know, you know when you like roll over a, a stop sign? I think that's what he was doing. He slows down, slows down, and I'm like pedaling because I think he's gonna stop because there's a fucking stop sign right here. There's a stop sign. So I'm pedaling, and then I, I look. <laughs> yeah, it was like a fucking movie, bro. I thought I, thought I knew the person. It, it was fucking wild, bro. I'm pedaling. I'm like on the. I'm on the road right now. You know the pathway, the path walk with, with a little squiggly lines and shit. Where people are supposed to fucking cross the road. So I'm on that right now. I think I'm safe. Cause stop sign. I have the right of way. Nigga should yield. Yield me. You know right away. Pedaling, pedaling. I hear. <laughs> Bruh. I feel like he was just looking down at his phone and didn't see me like crossing and so he just like fucking God bro Car hit me Well then it well hit hit me hit the back of my bike Somehow I like swerved and shit and then I landed awkwardly on my right knee but I didn't like fall off the bike. I just kind of fucking landed on my right knee. And then somehow held my goddamn food like this, dropped the bike, and then stood up. Perfect! Instantly, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Because, you know, adrenaline's kicking in. And I, 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 I just got hit. He pulls down his windows. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I didn't see you, bro. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, shit. Try to stop over there and shit. So he goes, he pulls in, but gives up taking the left, he takes the left, stops like in front of the road and shit. First, first of all, like he didn't just stop and like, he didn't, it wasn't a hit and run, okay? So he stopped, he pulled out his window and it was like, hey, you, you okay, man? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be good, I'll be good. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Let me get your phone number or some shit. Cause like he, at this point he's out of his car and he's like checking on me to see if I'm good. So. Kudos to you, buddy. He's like, you ain't no hit a grunt, bitch. So, that's good. I get his phone number. Because tensions are high, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm taking. I'm picking up my phone. In my mind, I'm... In my mind, I'm, like, really fucking calm. Because my voice is not trembling and shit. But, I'm holding the phone like this, bro. Let's say this controller is my phone. I'm holding the phone like this, too. Fucking trembling. Legit. Legit. Into it because they would never understand. Give him the phone. He puts his number in it. 
And then he's like, um, how much is the bike and shit? Can I just pay for you? I'm like, I don't know, bro. Just, I don't know. It's all right. It's, it's, it's just a hundred dollar bike. So I'm like, I don't know. It, it's all good, bro. I, I don't know. So like he, he goes back in his car and then goes to park or something. I don't know. He just left. But like, I guess he thought it was fine to leave because, you know, I didn't say like I was going to call the cops or some shit. But then I remember, how the fuck am I going to, you know, I ain't no snitch, first of all. Get that straight. I ain't no fucking snitch. But if I get hit and there's no, like, paper record of it, my nigga, if, I, if there's something wrong with my knee and... Remember I told you, like, my fucking hands were shaking? If there's something wrong with my fucking head, I ain't got no proof. Nope. How the f- So, I call the cops. Bruh. I look up FGC Police Department call. Uh, I call them. Ladies on the phone, nice. I'm like, yeah, um, I just got hit. Fucking blah, 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 blah. And then she conference call, three ways my call with the paramedics. And then they ask me a bunch of shit. I tell them. The cops pull up. The first that's the first cop that pulls up. I'm like, oh shit. Second car pulls up. I'm like, whoa! All, all this shit for me. Nigga, a fucking fire truck. <laughs> Bruh, a fire truck, my nigga. A fire truck. The paramedics. The you know when you kill somebody in GTA? Bruh. And then you know that little Bruh. <laughs> the little red truck pulls up and like tries to bring them back to life? That shit pulled up. And I'm like, <laughs> I legit, like, I was talking to a cop, I'm like, um, all this is this for me? Because I'm not used to this shit. You know, I've never been hit. And I, I, I lived in Haiti my whole life, bro. Like, if I get hit, we doing this shit together. Like, ain't nobody, like, calling no fucking cops in Haiti, my nigga. Like, ain't nobody doing that shit. You get their number, and then you fucking resolve that shit at the court or something. But ain't nobody calling no goddamn cops. Ain't no paramedics coming. But yeah, long story short, they fucking come. Um, they're telling me, like, they're asking me all these questions, information. Uh, they, like, the guy who hit me pulls up. They're questioning him, asking for a story. And then, like, they check on me. They're like, are you good? Do you feel like you need to go to the hospital? Because they, um, the ambulance is coming. I'm like, ambulance? Nah, I'm good. I'm alright, but like, in my head, like, they're gonna take money from me if I go to the fucking, um, ER right now. So I'm like, you need to go to the emergency? I'm like, uh, nah, that'll be fine, because I, I, I can walk, I can walk. And then they keep asking me questions and shit. And they're like, pull up your hands, do you feel any pain? I'm like, it's a little bit, like, awkward. That's, that's the joy so like, like, it feels awkward right now. Like, I landed awkwardly on it. And then, you know, basic protocol and shit. And then after that, the cop, <laughs> he brought me to his car, gave me a fucking brochure, buddy. A brochure. Hold on, where's that picture? Perfect! This, <laughs> this is what he gave me. <laughs> Gave me Florida bicycle laws synopsis. I ain't reading that shit just to, just so you know. But the cop was cool though. Like, oh yeah, niggas saying fuck to up, fuck to up and shit. That cop was cool as hell, dude. Like those two cops, they were cool as fuck. Cool as fuck. They gave me a ride, took my bike, brought it to the where people park their bikes here. He gave me a ride, <laughs> and then he took me to student health services. But when he took me, I went inside. Bruh, two ladies are like, two white, two white ladies are like, Are you okay? Oh my god, we just saw the whole thing. And in my mind, I'm like, oh shit. Who the fuck are these people? But I'm like, uh, you saw the whole thing? What thing? And she was like, we just got hit over there. I'm like, oh, you saw that? And I just like, yeah, 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 I hope you're okay. We saw the whole thing happen, the cops. We saw, we saw you get hit. I'm like, oh, damn. Um, can I, <laughs> like, at this point, my brain's just fucking fried, bro. Like, I just want to see somebody to help me with my leg. So, I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Can I see some, can I see a uh, nurse or a doctor? And I'm like, you know, just go to the window. 
and then I get to the doctor, they take my fucking thing. But at this point, it's like 5 o'clock, so they're about to close, so they tell me, you know, get an appointment or some shit, and that's what I do. I get an appointment, and I, I gotta go back there tomorrow at 9, and we'll see if anything's wrong with my leg. Probably get an x-ray or some shit, and I don't know. But yeah, this is the story of me almost fucking dying, bro. Like, I almost died on some real shit. Like, if I wasn't on my fucking bike pedaling fast as shit, like, he would've got, like, the fucking full impact. Luckily, it only took, like, the back of my bike, but, uh, I could've been toasted. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, man, please give it a like, subscribe, share the shit around, I don't know, show your friends, be safe on the road, always look up when you had a fucking stop sign, because you never know who the fuck's walking in front of you. Bruh. Let's imagine I wasn't on a bike. I was le legit just walking. Nigga just... Vroom, vroom. Death. If you guys enjoy these story times, I got a lot of stories. So if you guys enjoy story time, let me know in the comments. I'm out, bro. I'm about to eat this shit. Like, through all this that happened, my nigga's still with me. Then it drop one bit. Like, all the cheese that I put is still in there. Perfect! I'm about to eat the fuck out of it. This from Carabas too, so I know it's good. I know it's good. But yeah, it's been your boy, Mr. Star, and I am out. Peace. <laughs>